Uh, Kevin, thank you for calling and thank you for holding. You're on the air. Hola, si, senor. <laughs> Mama mia. <laughs> How's it going, Jesse? All is well, Kevin. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Good, buddy. So um, the reason I'm calling today is because um, I'm, uh, I want to share my evil mother story with you. Okay. It's going to blow your mind. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm ready. ready. So today's my 24th birthday, by the way. Today and, is? Um, today is. Kevin. This song is for you. <laughs> birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, man. Uh, thanks, Jesse. 24 is a nice age. It is. It is. I bought my um, first home at 25. Yeah, I was watching your uh, church segment about that earlier. Yes. But let me hear about your mother. So, um... Basically, my father died when I was two years old, and so I was raised by a single mother. And, um, you know, obviously I was just, that left me pretty lost most of my life thinking about that yeah. a lot, you know, who my father is. And um, I learned a few days ago that that man is actually not my father, and my father is alive. What? Yeah. So you my mom th- lied to me. You thought that, so your mother was married to another guy? Yep, my mother was married to her husband, and um, and this is what she told me, but i honestly not sure if I can even believe it all, because she's clearly a liar. But um, <laughs> she told me that she had, that my father couldn't have kids for some reason. I haven't gotten to the bottom of that yet. But um, she had one of his friends, like, donate sperm at a doctor's office, she claimed. And um, she just decided never to tell me about this. And the only reason I found out is because I uh, realized that I couldn't possibly, this man couldn't possibly be my father because he had green eyes, my mother has blue eyes, and I have brown eyes. Brown is a dominant trait, so it's, I realized it's, he couldn't possibly be my father. And I confronted her about it, and she lied at first, and then eventually she confessed. That, so your father is not dead? He is not dead. He's alive. Wow. This is years. shocking. I know. So what did that feel? I mean, what is that like for you to hear this? Oh, I don't even know. It's I, I just, I'm just <laughs> speechless, really. It's uh, a lot to take in because the implications of it all, I just can't even believe it. I have the last name of... Uh, the man I saw was my father my whole life, you know. It's just crazy. And and then the man who is my father, he had, I, I just found out I have four half-siblings. And um, it's just mind-blowing. I just can't even believe it. That's amazing, man. And so are you still living with your mother? Unfortunately, I am. I'm moving out June 1st, though. Beta! <laughs> 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 so good, man. Get out of there. And what are yep. you going to find your father now? I'm going to try to. He told me that uh, he apparently doesn't, he has his own family and doesn't really uh, want to meet us. I guess that was a stipulation of this deal that allegedly happened. Well, but, um, based I'm, on what you've told me, you can't believe anything she has to say uh, about your father. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Agreed. You have to really find him for yourself and hear his side of the story. Yeah. I do. I do. Well, have have you forgiven her yet? Well, you know, before I found out about this, I had gone to her. I was a fan of your show, and I went to her. I forgave her. And then now that this came out, when she first told me, I, I told her I forgave her. But it's just, I don't know, thinking about it, it's just, I just don't know if I honestly forgive her, you know? I bet. It's, it's just hard to. I know. I know. I can imagine. But for your sake, for your soul's sake, you have to forgive her. That doesn't mean you have to hang out with her. You don't have to go over for Mama's Day or any of that stuff. But for you to have a peaceful life and not pass this on to your wife or your children, you got to let it go. You got to forgive her. She cannot help herself. You, this is, if what you're saying is true, and I have no reason to doubt you, this is pure evil. And you have I to know. forgive her. I know. I'm trying to, and it's uh, 
It's hard, though, and she she doesn't really even feel any remorse for it, so it's even harder, because she, after she confessed about it, she said, oh, I was going to wait for him to die to tell you. What? Yeah. Well, well, you hurry up and move out of there, man. I know. I'm signing the lease tomorrow. What did your stepfather say about it? My stepfather? Yeah. I don't have a stepfather. I mean, her husband. He's, he's the one that's dead. Oh, he died. Okay, I got you. Yeah. That's an amazing story, man. Yeah, I gl- can't even believe it. I'm glad you hung on for this. This is, but in yeah, spite I, of the beauty about all this too, there's a beautiful side to this, is that God love you, and uh, whatever has happened to you, once you forgive her, get away from her, forgive her, get away from her, and uh, forgive her, and ha- hopefully you find your father, but if you don't, don't hold anything against him. It's going to be as though you don't even have a past. Like none of this stuff ever happened in your life. You're going to be life is going to be brand new for you, and it's going to really be amazing, Kevin. So it's not the end; it's the beginning of life for you. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. So, right. in spite of this, you still need to forgive, and because your soul will be returned to God, will return to God. And you will be healed because you are a spirit. You're not a physical. You just live in a physical. But the real you is what's hurting. And once you forgive, uh, God will forgive you. And don't ask for forgiveness. Just forgive her. That's evil. She can't help it. Yeah, I know. And he will forgive you. Uh, okay. So are you are you half white or? I'm fully white. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're white. Well, now you'll be able to get married and have some white babies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how it goes, Kevin. All right. I'll keep you updated. updated. Uh, are you doing my silent prayer? I am. I'm, sometimes I, admit, I skip out, I admit, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I wish you well, man, and keep me informed, all right? All right. I will, Jesse. God bless you. And, and God bless you, buddy. Amazing. Right. Absolutely amazing.